Hi, my name's Helen, and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're not, you'll know the routine. Thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. I really do. Like, I don't know how more, much more to say that, but it's really fabulous. Um, as many of you who congratulated me, and, and thank you for that too. I'm over 5,000 now. I think I'm 5,300 and something, which is phenomenal. I never expected to, to have this kind of uh, number of people following what I do. But it's uh, it's great because it spurs me on to do more and uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. If you are enjoying the channel and you'd like to subscribe, then that would be fantastic. Um, it, it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't really kind of bother you even because all it does is tell you that I've got videos and you can choose to watch them or not. But it does affect... Um, how I'm viewed by YouTube and kind of how they promote my channel and stuff. So it's a nice little um, feedback for me. So yeah, if you if you can subscribe, then I'd be really grateful. So um, yesterday was the Queen's funeral, and uh, in the UK that was a public holiday, uh, National Day of Mourning. And uh, I don't know, most people probably like me, whether you're a royalist or not. It's uh, it was a fabulous, fabulous show not show, but do you know what I mean? It was an incredible feat of uh, organisation and the military, and you couldn't fail to be impressed. Whatever your stance is on the royal family, that doesn't really matter, and I'm not going to get political, but uh, it was very, very impressive and very moving, and they must all be exhausted. Every single person involved with it must be exhausted, so I'm sure they're having a day of rest today. Unfortunately, today's the day of the family funeral that I'm going to, and I have made a really pretty wreath. Um, I'll put a photograph um, at the end of the video so that anybody who's interested can have a look at that. Um, yeah, it, I'm pleased with it anyway. It's all, all pinks and mauves and, and foliage and so on. So, um, yeah, so that's that. Um, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yes. Yeah. So I'm doing a um, kind of an evening wear, dress wear, cruise wear, kind of Christmas one today. And it's all from Coast. And I think Coast is a very reliable retailer for all things dressy, really. And they go up to some big sizes, too. In fact, um, for my son's wedding, how many years ago was that? Five years ago? Crikey. But I think it was four, yeah, it must be five, four or five years ago. And I try, I must have tried on 50 dresses trying to find what would work for that wedding. And uh, in the event, I got a really nice dress in Coast and uh, I was I was thrilled with it. It wasn't too expensive. They're always doing promotions and um, discount codes and stuff. So if you do see something I'd kind of start looking now if you've got any big do's or cruises or anything to go on because they're less likely to do discounts closer to Christmas for obvious reasons. So, and um, those kinds of do's are probably the only one where I will succumb to the dreaded shapewear. And uh, a few people have asked me to talk about that. And I have to say, I have tried all kinds of shapewear. For my first daughter's wedding, I said, I am not wearing any shapewear. I will not wear it. I don't want to be uncomfortable. Um, I I had my outfit made for me, no expense spared. I, I spent an awful lot of money on that, that ensemble. And um, do you know what? I wished I'd found the garment that I'm going to show you later because it would have made all the difference. I did lose a, a few stone for that wedding because I was obsessed with, with getting to um a lighter weight and so you know i was i was quite pleased with how it all turned out but when i look back and knowing what i know now you know but you can't put that experience backwards can you but um that was the first one um my second daughter's wedding i'm sorry to say i was the heaviest weight i've ever been and i did wear shapewear and um it was the hottest day of the year and i had on um, a black dress I did black and white. I think I've mentioned it in a previous video. And I thought I was literally going to melt. And then, as I say, for my son's wedding, I wore something from Coast. And I did wear one of the garments that I'm going to show you today, in fact. And it's very comfortable and not a problem at all. It just kind of smooths you out. So this, this is what I wore. I mean, I have tried. I've tried 
the um, kind of shape where, you know, like the cycling shorts don't work for me at all because they, they roll over. You know, I've kind of thick in the middle and so they roll over and uh, useless. I have tried the long line pants in kind of firm shapewear. No good for me either because, again, they roll down. Um, I don't think my old neighbour watches this. But if she did, she, she would laugh now because um, it was for my second daughter's wedding. I ordered a waist cincher and it's so it's like kind of this big and it's it it's just kind of well what it says it just kind of is body shaped and it, it's supposed to pull you in at the waist and I got it on and I couldn't get it off and it just rolled up into like an incredibly tight rubber band around my middle and she was she she was in with me and oh my good god we could not get this damn thing off. It was like, Arr! and um, in actual fact, I sold it just earlier this year on Vinted because it didn't even have the tags off it and I never did wear it and it was useless. And, you know, oh God, it's it's shocking, isn't it, what we try and do. I mean, back in the day, my nan and my mum, I think from a very young age, they wore what in those days were called girdles or roll-ons which was Playtex, that was the Playtex roll-on, and they were kind of rubber, and you literally, you put them on and then rolled them up, and they had suspenders on them, because obviously there wasn't tights in those days. So, um, and my my grandmother, I remember one time, as I was leaving the room, I was only about 12 or something, and she said, is she wearing a roll-on? I thought, like, oh my God, oh, you know, a girdle, I mean, crying out loud. Anyway, these are good. I would actually recommend these, because they don't make you kind of like slim or anything but they smooth you and they just take that little bit off so that um things just fit nicer and kind of sit nicer you don't get those ridges that you get from your pants and your tights and all that jazz so the first one and this is what i bought for my second uh wedding in fact my daughter's wedding and it's one of these wear your own bra i mean i have to wear my own bra i can't have anything with a bra fitted in because it simply would not fit me. And this one, I think this one's from Marks and Spencers. Yeah, this is M&S. And um, so it's, it's kind of like this at the top. So that is that is the way you wear it. So your boobs kind of stick over the top of, of that bit. And then it's just straight. I know this one's got a hole in it where I've pulled it up, look, but I still wear it. Um, so this is just... Um, a slip. This one is actually a size 20, I noticed, because I don't expect it to work any kind of miracles on sizing or anything. I just want it to hold me in and kind of make everything just sit nicer so there's no lumps and bumps and ridges and so on. And so that's what I wore um, because I wore tights. By the time I got to my son's wedding, um, tights were kind of a bit of a no-no, they're kind of a bit... Um, you know, aging, I think, because, you know, youngsters always wear, always have bare legs. And that's where that leg makeup comes in that I've told you about before. The Sally Hansen leg makeup is fabulous. And so now I tend to wear this one. And this again, this is the front here. And then it's got legs. And then I've got to show you what I've done. This is where, I don't know, I'm kind of telling you my deep, deep secrets here because they have a kind of flap over your crotch. So the fabric is flapped like this and you're supposed to pull it apart in order to do a wee. And um, I don't know about you, but hovering over a toilet, trying to pull apart a flap, hold your dress up and pee, is it's not a really easy thing to do, especially if your dress is kind of, you know, got, like quite a full skirt or something so I you know that didn't work for me so the first thing I did was I stitched the flap back and that that didn't work so then what I did <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing really I don't know why I'm showing you I cut it out so that's that's my drawers now and I just wear a pair of knickers over the top so I've kind of got my foof 
is um, available. Uh, accessible. Accessible. It's not available. <laughs> it's not available. It's accessible. And so I just wear that with my pants over the top. Hopefully I'm never in an accident and need to get carted away to hospital. But um, if, if, if it's bad enough that I couldn't sort that out before I get in the ambulance, then uh, I don't suppose I'd care what they see and I expect they've seen worse. So yeah, so these this is my um this is my kind of go-to shapewear, and this is the one I'll be popping on today um with the outfits. And this one is maiden form, and I actually got this one in the next sale, and this is uh, 2XL, and it's fine. It does the job. It's not madly sort of firm or anything, it's just enough to just sort of skim, so stuff sort of skims over and um it just makes me feel more kind of in and t kind of neater, I want a better expression. And it's not so thick. You know, if a, if a chap dances with you, you don't want him to sort of think, God, she's got like armour on under this, um, under this dress. So, um, yeah, so that, that's what I wear. And um, generally speaking now, I don't wear tights under evening wear because my girls have told me that that's old fashioned. So I just... Um, I just wear bare legs. So, right, that's enough of all that chat. I'm going to put on the first outfit. I haven't really even looked at these. I've just hung them all up. I've been incredibly busy, house full of people, loads of comments to answer and stuff. So I honestly haven't looked at anything. So they're all dresses and I will get on with that haul now. This first dress is um, navy blue, actually, and um, it's an 18 and it was 178 pounds um which is a lot of money and it's a very heavy fabric um it's it's like kind of like that scuba fabric again making me very busty here but uh, i guess because you know it's very covered up it's it's um quite long um it's got a full skirt i'm just going to adjust the camera slightly so you can see um yeah, I mean, I'm not, you know, you could wear black shoes with it. Black and navy is fine. Um, it's very wasted here. And I have got the shapewear underneath. And I think you can kind of see it just smooths me out a little bit. Um, I didn't worry about finding a discount code because um, I'm probably not keeping any of these. But I think it's a flattering dress. It gives you a good shape. And um, if it's more of a kind of formal occasion where, you, you know, not so much kind of a party occasion or a wedding or something. I think this would look very nice, but it would be very warm. Um, I'll put all the details in the uh, description box. I'll just quickly see if I can see what it's made from. It's viscose, actually. It's viscose and elastane, and it is washable, but on a cool wash. But, yeah, I mean, I think it's a lovely dress. It's quite, as I say, it's quite booby. But um, nothing wrong with that, is there, if you're going out of an evening and you could wear a lovely necklace with it. I haven't bothered with all the necklaces and stuff. Um, and these are the most comfortable. These are a bit kind of, you know, like not kind of sexy. These are Gabor and they're quite a low heel, but they are incredibly comfortable. I got so fed up wearing, you know, shoes that were killing me. Um, so that's the first dress. As I say, I think it's it's quite slimming, um, but it's not exactly exciting. That's what I would say. So that's dress number one. Now, this one is even boobier than the last one because it's a wrap over. So I, this is an 18. I think if I got an, a 20, it would be a bit looser here and it wouldn't be quite so kind of booby. But, you know, if you get one of those, um, you can get those bras that are designed kind of low front but um quite a cleavage going on there but it's very pretty it's got this um kind of nude white and black lace nice full skirt long sleeves quite warm you know again it's that kind of scuba fabric this one was 119 pounds um but gosh yeah I'm, i look like something out of bridgerton don't i but anyway, um, I kind of, as long as you don't look down, you kind of, you know, 
you're okay. But it's a good length. I think this would be lovely for a winter wedding um, or, well, any, any special occasion, really. I think that's rather nice. I'll just check if this one is washable. I would imagine it is because um, at the end of the day, it's probably all viscose or something. Um, viscose, polyamide and elastane. So I must admit, if my husband wasn't here, I couldn't be showing you these dresses because um, I can't get them done up. You know, it's hard, those invisible zips to get over that kind of waist part. But uh, I think that's, I, I like this style of dress. I think they're quite flattering. And the skirt is lovely. The only danger with coast is that you might be some, see somebody in the same, same uh, dress because there's not that many places. And this is quite, readily identifiable but I think all in all it's a it's a lovely dress so that's dress number two I love this dress I think it is beautiful this one is um 127.50 and as you can see it's got the embroidered top and there's even kind of extra flowers um on top of the embroidery it's got this kind of Oh, I just think it's beautiful. This kind of lace, like not lace, but it's all silver embroidery going down to this cascade of flowers, empire line waist. You, know, you can feel all the flowers here. And then it's um, got a lovely skirt. I honestly wish I had somewhere to wear this because I think it is really flattering. Really, oh, I think it's a stunning dress. You know, it's high. But it's sheer here, so like, you know, I love that thing. I always think it's very kind of Grace Kelly. Um, all the beautiful peaches and greens and corals and blue. Oh, it's so pretty. I think it's really pretty anyway, I don't know. Um, I've got my silver earrings on, which actually go nicely with the, um, the thread work on it. So, um, again... I would imagine this is gentle wash, but maybe not because of the um, flowers. Uh, hundred percent polyester, yes, washable. You know, I think if you give it a gentle wash, it would be fine. But um, I, th I th well, for any special occasion, I think this. This is my favourite so far by a mile. It's uh, comfortable because you've got the kind of lace top. It doesn't feel warm, even though the skirt is very heavy and um, sits well. But uh, I think this was, I think this would get a lot of compliments, this dress, if I'm honest. So I think it's uh, a very, well, I've said that already, haven't I? It's a really, really lovely dress. That's all I can say. And I hope you agree. I mean, you know, if you put your hair up too, you could really, you know, take it to the next level. So anyway, hope you like it too. Don't want to take it off. All right, this one is another navy blue dress and it's just got this rather stunning embroidery on the shoulders. Again, it's very low cut. It's, um, this one is £167.50 and 50p. It's uh, not stretchy fabric, this one. It's more of a crepe, and it's got a full skirt. And again, I think it's very attractive. It's very kind of low-key. So, you know, if you're a person who doesn't like a lot of flowers and flounces, this might be the dress for you. I think it's quite a lot of money for this, but I think it's very sophisticated and very elegant. And again, I'll see if it's washable. Because at the end of the day, you know, if something's not washable and every time you clean it, as I said, my daughter's dress the other day cost £21 um, to clean. You know, that starts, it's, oh, this is, yeah, this is dry clean. So that is a consideration, isn't it? But uh, again, I think it's quite flattering. Um, I don't know why they put these really long sleeves. I mean, I think a three-quarter sleeve would look nice. But I, I guess it's kind of sophisticated having the long sleeve. but. Um, 
it wouldn't be my number one choice, especially at that money. It doesn't beat the last dress, but it might be more your cup of tea. You know, we're all different. And uh, this certainly wouldn't be quite so recognisable as the last one. But, um, yeah, this is navy blue, as I say, £167.50. Quite comfortable. I, I mean, I'm a fairly standard size 18, but I carried the weight more on my legs. So if, this, if these were straight fitted, they probably wouldn't fit me. But um, I managed to get away with them because of the waist area. So, uh, yeah, I'll let you make your own mind up on that one. Now, this one straight away, I'm apologising for my kind of nude coloured bra, because obviously I'd wear a black bra or a strapless bra under this. But uh, I think this is a lovely dress too. This one is £69.30. and I think they did have an offer on, which is why I think it's uh, a... Um, they had, I think they had 20 or 30% of so many dresses. But like I say, they are always running offers. So if you see anything you like, either use the pouch code. Now, it's a shame because, I, I don't know, I really love these kind of sleeves with the sheer and the spots. I think they're really sophisticated. They kind of make me think of, you know, like Grace Kelly and something like Helen Mirren would wear. And I probably look more like Hilda Baker. But that's... <laughs> A very old reference for anyone who's not as old as me. Anyway, um, it's mesh, like you can, I said, with a little velvet spot all over the top part. And then it's got this satin bow. I haven't pressed it up or anything. And then it's got a nice pleated skirt. It feels much, much lighter than the other dresses. So this is a much easier dress to wear. It's kind of, yeah, I mean, it's perfect for a, a Christmas do or something where you don't want to be kind of too kind of glitzy and flouncy and quite a classic and like you could take that off and and just put a you know a, a different belt on it a diamante belt even if that's if that's the way you roll um but I think it's as I say it's much lighter I mean immediately the other dresses you know you have to wear them but this one is is very lightweight very easy um I should imagine I'll check for you if it's washable but obviously I'll be putting all the links on and you can check all this stuff for yourself. Um, but, yeah, this one is washable, uh, which, you know, does help. So, um, yeah, I don't know what you think of that one. I think you could dress this right up or, or keep it fairly kind of low-key sophisticated, like a black patent belt would look nice or a little tiny Diamante belt would, would sit well, I think, on it. I think all in all, it's an easy dress to wear. Um, a good dress to have in your wardrobe because it certainly would stand the test of time. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's dress number four. I must say, if my husband wasn't here, I couldn't have done this haul at all because, you know, these invisible zips are a blimmin' nightmare to get on and off. And this one's got the little rouleau loop with the button too. So he's like, how many more are there? So one more after this. So anyway, yeah, hope you like this one. So as you can see, this one is navy blue. And it's a kind of a similar idea to the last one in as much it's got the um, mesh layer with the flowers. This one's got long sleeves and a very heavily embroidered flower on there. It's rather nice. Again, I apologise for the bra, but um, I'm kind of squeezing this in between other jobs and, and getting off. Um, Rob again has had to do this up for me. It's a nice pleated skirt all the way around and it hangs quite nicely. This one is um, £104.30 and again I think that must be a discounted one because of the strange price point. And uh, I think this one is probably washable because I think it's probably... Um, yeah, this one's washable. I did have a good tip from another lady, you know, with the knife pleated skirts. She said, I think she said, what did she say? Put them into a um, leg of a tight, you know, put fold, put them lengthways pleated into the leg of a pair of tights to wash them um, to keep the pleats all together. I think that's what she said. Anyway, Google it. I'm sure someone else said it. So that's the final dress today. Um, I'll just sit down and have my final little chat with you and uh, and then we'll wrap it up. So that's, I, I mean, I may well do it. I probably will do another kind of Christmas evening wear um, 
dress thing but I thought I'd do this one because a couple of people had asked and it's just kind of starting to come into the shops and give you a head start and all of that um as you know I'm going away and uh, I've also got family coming to stay here to look after the dog so um you know what it's like I don't know why do you feel like you have to leave the house really clean I mean partly because I've got family coming but uh, also in case anything happens to me and they have to come in and I don't know want them to think that I was a dirty what's it so um yeah really busy with one thing or another this week I kind of got a day allocated to everything and then on Friday I'll be filming my pack with me haul and I've been gifted some beautiful suitcases um it's good to hear isn't it <laughs> so anyway I hope you enjoyed this haul um I, just one little tiny thing I'm just gonna say and you know, if you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say it. Some people's comments, not to me necessarily, but to, to other people's comments, like, why do you feel the need to share what you think? Just think it and move on. I mean, haven't we all thought that? Haven't we all seen people and thought, oh, God, you're a bit of a mess, but it's a fleeting thought and then it's gone and then you think, well, it's up to them. Wear what you like, be happy in who you are. That's quite an achievement these days in itself. But I never quite know how to respond to those things or whether to respond at all. I mean, if they're proper bitchy, I just remove them. Sometimes I don't actually know where they're coming from. And um, yeah, I don't really know how to deal with those things, to be honest with you. I'm still learning that side of it. Um, I just think it's a shame. You know, I just think just shut shut your mouth really <laughs> shut keep it zipped think think how you might upset somebody think how you might impact their day there's really no need is there you know if you're watching the telly you just think it you say it and you move on you don't you don't comment so just it's not been loads or anything like that but there's just been a few where i've just thought that was unnecessary and if it was a child of mine i'd be saying that was unnecessary and that was mean and that was hurtful and how would you like it if somebody said it to you? So that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Um, so, yeah, so later this week there'll be a pack with me haul. And then I'm on holiday. And um, and then I've got them stacking up then, different videos I, I need to do and deliver on. So, um, busy, busy. I've got myself a job and I wasn't looking for a job. But I'm not complaining. I love it. It's really, really great. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, then please do. If you're still watching, cheers and have a lovely week the rest of the week. It's a shorter one this week and I will see you all soon. Thanks. Bye.